That's how we do it in step four. Potentiation. Now for potentiation, we're gonna use certain phytonutrients that dilate the blood vessels that open up these cellular pathways. And here they are. Right, right, you might wanna write these down. Well, there, there are a couple different models for potentiation. One of them that you may know very well is cayenne. You know, cayenne is, is really great for dilating the blood vessels. It opens up everything in your, in your, your brain, your face, your tongue. And I, I think you should just take cayenne tincture straight, you know. Don't, don't do the capsules. Experience it. It'll wake you up. It opens up all your cardiovascular system. You know, it really, it's really opening. Uh, uh, piperine, we already talked about, the black pepper extract. That opens up, that multiplies the effects. Ginkgo is another herb that does this, as is bacopa. It's another one. Um, and here's, here's a little secret, niacin flushing. Has anyone ever experimented with niacin flushing in this way? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. So, so if you haven't, do this very carefully. But niacin, if you take the, the flush form, you don't want the flush free niacin. You want the flush. This is, you want to experience the full flush and when, what it feels like if you've never experienced it is it feels like you suddenly have a massive sunburn, your skin turns red, uh, all the blood goes to your skin and you have like, like uh, I don't know, a tingling sensation all over your body. And you freak out the first time you're doing this because you think, did I overdose on niacin? What's, oh, uh, but it's perfectly normal. It just feels like a really crazy sunburn. But, but it lasts a few minutes and what it does is it opens up all these capillaries and blood vessels throughout your body. It is a, a form of therapy all by itself. And by the way, if you do this, start with only 25 milligrams. Some people need as much as 100 or 150 milligrams to get this effect, but I found out the hard way that I only needed 25 and I started with 150. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Uh, good point. If you drink too much water, it will lose its effect. So, so when you're doing your juicing, your phytonutrient loading, uh, make sure that you're not just chugging way too much water for this because you want the niacin to have this effect. And again, my disclaimer, work with a naturopathic physician. Get an okay on this. This is experimental phytonutrient medicine. That's my disclaimer. I'm only offering this as, as personal experience and information. Uh, question here. The question is, is niacin good with taking a steam bath? Um, yeah, it, it would, right, it makes your skin a lot more porous. You, you would be able to both get rid of toxins and absorb, um, if you have trace minerals in the bath water, for example, it would help you absorb those. So, good point. Sea, sea salt in the bathtub. Sea salt. Store water. Absolutely. So, and there's one more thing you can do to potentiate these phytonutrients. And it's an effect called electroporosis. Has anyone heard of this, this effect? Um, well, I think earlier today, they were, you were giving away a zapper, is that right? Yeah. yeah. And that's, that's the kind that you just use on your skin, it has the electrodes, it puts the, yeah, 12 volts of current through your skin. Well, this is highly experimental, but for those who really need to get massive amounts of nutrition into their cells, if you pass a current through your blood, you cause an effect called electroporosis. And it makes your cells uh, a lot more permeable. And it, it does things like you can get drunk on, a, on an ounce of beer if you, if you use this. I mean, everything suddenly becomes magnified. And as such, it can potentially be dangerous if you have substances in your blood that, that should not be magnified in that way, such as, of course, pharmaceuticals. So use this with caution. Even over-the-counter painkillers can be highly toxic to the liver and you would never want to use electroporosis for them. And you wouldn't want to take alcohol or anything like that. So this is something to use very carefully. But personally, in my own experience, if I were dealing with cancer, and I had a family member who had a diagnosed tumor, I mean, a, there it is on the CAT scan, a big tumor, and we need to deal with that tumor and cure this person's cancer because they were about to die, and their doctor said go home and die, I'd go get a zapper, I'd go get some reishi mushrooms, I'd get spirulina, I would load this person up with all the anti-cancer nutrients and hit them with the electroporosis. But that's just me. 
<laughs> I, I mean, yeah, it looks just just like this. In fact, the zapper can be used in this way. Yes. Well, doesn't it, doesn't it have a plug-in that where it has electrodes you can put on your skin? Yeah. Right. You just put it on your skin uh, near an artery, like on your wrist. You turn it on and you feel some current running through it. You are, in fact, electrifying your blood, and it causes this electroporosis effect. Which, again, use this with extreme caution. I mean, this can be this can be dangerous with certain chemicals in your blood. All right. So, so the last step in this, which is the next slide, is circulate circulation. So now that you've done all of this and you have all these nutrients circulating in your blood and you have potentiated your blood, maybe with niacin, maybe with cayenne pepper, maybe with the piperine extract, then guess what? You gotta move this stuff around your body. You gotta move it. You can't just beat disease with nutrition alone. It's not just nutrition, you gotta move it because the tissues have to be bathed in these, in these nutrients. So, so yoga, some gentle moving, some Pilates, some dance, whatever it takes you know, just getting up and walking, doing some swimming. Get things moving in a gentle way and get circulation to your extremities. People suffering from diabetic neuropathy, you know, their feet are going numb. They do this and they say, wow, I can feel my feet for the first time in years. You know, number one cause of amputation in this country is diabetes. It's a sad thing because it's not, it doesn't have to happen at all. So with this five-step process, this is how you get the most out of the nutrients that you put your money into and your intention into and your effort into making all these delicious smoothies. This is how you get them to your cells in the maximum, the, the, the most potent way possible. This is what really works. So I hope you found value in this information. Thanks for being such a great audience. Thanks for listening. You're all welcome to go visit. Thank you. Um, um, I know you guys got a lot of valuable information, but this is just this is unbelievable. If you want to get a hundred times what he just said from a book that you could get from reading literally ten minutes a day, how, how much is this book? I mean, 20 bucks for this book right here. It's, it's an unbelievable resource. I mean, you open it up to any page. You don't even have to start from the beginning and read it from page, you know, from the beginning to the end. Open it up to any page, and you're going to get as many insights for five minutes as you got from this entire hour. Incredible resource. It's called, it's, it's sold right outside here on the table. Uh, it's called Natural Health Solutions. Natural Health Solutions, and also How to Beat the Bird Flu. And this is a fantastic book. This one I've skimmed, to be honest with you. This one I've read from cover to cover, and they're both phenomenal resources. At the very least, go to his website. This stuff is free.